Here's Robinson. Morrison. Morrison's cross, away by Safri. Here's Jonathan Greening. Well, he was on to it in a flash, wasn't he? Sermon. Good touch by Stan John, who took one for the team. Advantage play. In by Jason Newell, Saganowski. Can he get a side of goal? Well, what a chance this is. Miller's away here. Still going Ishmael Miller. It'll be a corner, but it could have been a lot worse for Southampton and a lot better for West Brom. Looking to turn the screw here, West Bromwich Albion. Morrison. Phillips. Back for Morrison. Well, sprung to life, haven't they? Second half. That's an unfortunate end to the evening for James Morrison, who was looking really lively in the second half. He can't carry on, but not a bad replacement. Different sort of a player. But, uh, Chris Brunt will come here, and the ammunition he can provide from this left can be absolutely lethal. Clement. And for Gira to attack Phillips! Wonderful save, vital save from Richard Wright. Lallana is onside here, real chance for Southampton, Lallana scores! Hope springs eternal for Southampton! Could really feel the goal was coming and then, you know, and you keep banging on the door and then you're always worried that, you know, they're going to nick one and, and they did. It was, uh, I couldn't believe it when I was out there on the pitch. Typical West Brom, you know, we let them score a goal and everyone's looking at each other thinking this can't be. We went for it, we never had uh, one moment that we just put our head down. We just went for it again, and then the quality comes through. Touched by Moore. Bednar. Luke Moore missed it. Chris Brunt! Well, that could just be the goal that sends West Bromwich Albion back to the Premier League. a big moment and didn't he steady himself he could have panicked his first touch could have gone away from him but it didn't that is an absolutely terrific finish in the circumstances we see now and the relief around this ground is unbelievable congratulations starting to be offered for tony mowbray He's done it, and he's done it his way, and he's done it in style. Chris Brunt is the toast of West Bromwich. They go to the top of the table at the vital time. They go back to the Premier League when it really matters at the expense of Southampton, who stay in the bottom three going in to the final game of the season. Emotion boiling over at the Hawthorns again as the jubilation pours onto the pitch. A job well done in the end, although not without its scare. Yeah, but you always say West Brom will go right to that final whistle. They've done it so many times this season because they have the quality, because they can bring people off the bench to make a difference. And they certainly did that with Brom. Before the game, I said to Brunty before the game, I said, uh, keep your head up because we're just putting not to start in uh, I've got a feeling you're going to come on and score the winner. So uh, when it dropped to him, I was like off the, uh, you know, off the bench thinking, he's going he's gonna to score here. Yeah? And he scored, so uh, it was unbelievable. Just concentrating on hitting as hard as I could really because Richard Wright was, was unbelievable on the night. I think that was the only way it was going to beat him if something was going to go through him or deflect off somebody. And, you know, fortunately enough, it's gone right through him. And, you know, once I hit the net, it was, it was unbelievable just to see the fans' reaction. If it could have fallen to anyone on the pitch, I would want it to fall to Chris Brunt on his left foot. The lads call his left foot the wand because the things he can do with it's tremendous. And you know, we're all grateful that he smashed the ball in. I thought I thought about taking my shirt off, but then I thought, no, 